Okay, so this is at the beginning of the video. If you have the money to afford to have your credit repaired, go below and hit this link. Once again, uh, I, I don't run a charity. I'm not out here to make friends. I'm not out here to fix your credit super cheap and all this other stuff, but there's a process and you can go hit this link below. We could set up a call and we could talk about your credit report. Something else too, and I'm gonna put some links below. You need to have access to your credit report, which costs money, which is gonna cost money because I need to actually see your credit report to actually repair your credit. So all that stuff will be linked below and what you need to do. And you go ahead and set up some phone calls so we can go ahead and actually begin to work on your credit. So let's get into this video, which is gonna be very, very understanding, really, really enlightening for you. Let me tell you a little story. I was running some ads to sell the Art of Holding Business Credit course. And literally I ran these ads for four weeks and something really strange happened. I kept getting people who responded to the ads. I'm gonna say 95% of the people had credit issues. And this was somewhat surprising to me because there's a ton of financial literacy coaches all over the internet. There's a ton of them. And let me go ahead and just say it. If you're gonna go for business funding, i.e. a credit card, you must have a good credit report, 730, 750 credit score. You must have no lates, no derogatories, no bad issues on your personal credit report. Now, why did I break it down, like I said, credit cards? Because typically, you can get a business credit card. Now, line of credit, you must be in business for two years and your LLC must demonstrate that you've been in business for two years. And when you go get your line of credit from the bank, they're gonna ask you, how much money did you make in the last year? There are some banks, Truist, which will ask to look at your tax returns. PNC, if your personal credit report is properly optimized, you can get up to 100K line of credit after being in business two years. But the same criteria that exists for you to get the credit card must be even better for you to get the line of credit. And literally, I say I got like 100 people who responded and out this 100 people, 90 had credit issues. And this, this got me to thinking. It got me to really, really start thinking. I was like, these people are not financially literate, even though there's literally a million financial literacy coaches on the internet. And this is one of the things, they're not teaching basic ground level financial literacy. Like if you've got any issues on your personal credit report, you could completely forget about getting any business credit. Now there are, let's go with tier. There's tier one, this is your, your banks. That's the cheapest money. You can get the, the cheapest money from the banks. And then as you go down, there's a group of people who will give you credit based upon your business activity and they won't even look at your FICO score. They'll look at your business checking accounts. They'll look at three to maybe four business checking accounts in a row and see how much money you're making. And based upon how much money you're making, they will give you a loan. Stripe will give you a loan based upon your processing. Um, PayPal will give you a loan based upon your processing. And typically, to get these loans, you must be processing a lot of money in your business. I remember uh, when I had Savage Finance, I put out how to get a business credit loan from you know PayPal. Uh, I think it was like how to get $500,000 for PayPal. And people got upset. People got upset that you had to have a business and you had to have processing. They got upset. And then I'm literally sitting there talking to these people and the thing is, I knew, a lot of these people knew that they had credit issues, but for some reason, they thought that they could get business funding with credit issues. And it, it got me to really, really start thinking that a lot of people out here do not understand money. 
and how money works and how lending works. Because I, I literally looked at this stuff and I, I consistently saw people talking about getting business funding with a bad credit report. And also, let, let's go a little deeper. Right now, there's a ton of information online how to get a high limit credit card. High limit credit card, right? Get the credit card with a $50,000 limit, right? The average person with good credit is not going to get a $50,000 limit credit card. It's not. What you need to get a $50,000 limit credit card, you need to have a good credit report, 730, 750 credit score, and you need to have multiple, I would say ideally, three credit cards of twenty-five dollars to $35,000 limits on your personal credit report for the bank to optimize and give you these high limits on your business credit cards. That's called comparable credit, right? And typically, one of the things that I've noticed, once again, there's a ton, let, let me go ahead and say, there's a ton of people on the internet who call themselves financial literacy coaches. And they talk about how to get certain things, right? But they never actually get down to the basics of financial literacy. Shout out to the Credit Plug. The Credit Plug has been doing this for years and he has a new strategy. I understand why he's doing this new strategy and it's working, it's working. So salute to the Credit Plug. Um, typically, the average person doesn't really understand money because if you think that you can have bad credit or you can have, uh, I actually talked to this doctor who literally had uploaded, had overwhelmed his personal credit cards. Uh, his credit score, he, he told me that, you know, it was never late and everything. And I got around and looking at his credit reports. He had multiple late payments on several of his credit cards, even though he's a doctor making $350,000 a year. There's no one outside of family or maybe a personal connect is gonna give him any money. Even though he's a doctor, because his personal credit report is overloaded. It's overloaded. And I, I see this all the time and you know, once again, and I keep mentioning these financial literacy coaches, none of them actually say this. Hey, before you start a business, this is what you should do. You should go ahead Get your LLC set up, get your EIN and your business checking account set up and get your first business credit card. And what you wanna do is to stop using your personal credit cards for business. I've not heard one financial literacy person ever say that. Not one. And which makes me feel that many people are saying that they're financial literacy coaches because that's a good title to have. Right now, there's a ton of people in the credit space. There's a ton of people in the financial space. And these people don't have any chops. They don't have any proof. They cannot pull out their wallet and show you a credit card with $50,000 limit. They cannot do it. But this is the internet. And, you know, I, I sat down and I thought, because, you know, at one point I was pissed off. I was like, why am I getting all of these people with bad credit responding to my ads? And there's other people selling similar things and they've adopted some things. Like one person you call, they're gonna to ask to see your credit reports before they even try to sell you their offer. Because once again, when you ask people their credit score, I would say 75% of people really don't know what their credit score is. They really don't know what their credit score is, where they fall. And one of the things I keep saying is FICO score, not Vantage score. Your FICO score is the score that banks use to give you credit, your FICO score. So one of the things that I come up to is I'm getting into the how to repair credit space. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do that's gonna be a little different because literally, once again, I already know that a lot of people who will respond to my ads will not have the money. That, that's just normal part of the game. They will not have the money. But there will be a group of people who will have the money and I'm gonna take them through this experience. 
First of all, there'll be two portals. There will be the business training portals, because once again, 95% of the people who responded to my ad had bad credit. And majority of them knew that they had bad credit and they responded to an ad on how to get business credit funding. And I thought that was somewhat eerie. I thought that was somewhat strange. I thought that was a, a little crazy, right? And then it hit me. The vast majority of people are not financially literate. And, you know, I was talking to someone that I brought into the program. And at first, once again, you, you have to have a way to talk into these people. 100% honesty and truth is not the way to talk to these people. I had this girl, she was talking, yeah, I want to fix my credit, I want to fix my credit. And I said, what is your bad credit preventing you from doing? She said, like, my last car. And then we went through it. And I was like, so because you had bad credit, you're going to pay nine to $12,000 more for this car than if you had good credit. And she got very silent. She said, is it that much? And we went ahead, looked at the interest rate, worked the numbers, and it actually came out to 11,500 bucks. If she had good credit, she would have paid two thousand dollars and because i was able to educate her that's what i convinced her to get in the program because essentially as long as you're using credit and you have bad credit you're going to pay way more than you should for everything you're going to pay way more for your cars if you somehow manage to get into a mortgage program you're going to pay a lot more for your mortgage and you know i just broke the numbers down for her and she got in the program and this is the thing that you have to show these people is that being having bad credit is then i had someone who wasn't interested in the business training he was like i'm good i'm good i'm good i said okay and he wanted me to teach him credit repair and i was like you know how i learned how to fix credit i said i fixed my own credit i was like if you're so serious about learning credit repair why is your credit bad silence silence and you know i i, I just threw some numbers out there I threw some crazy numbers. I was like 1500 a month for four or five months. And he, he went away, he went away. Cause he's like, I'm good on business and everything. And before we got that, I was like, how much money you make? He didn't want to say. And th this is one of the things that I consistently see in the financial literacy space that people want to make this claim that they're making money, that they understand business, they understand LLCs, they understand holding companies. But when you look for proof positive, like results, they're not there. And this guy got mad because he didn't want, he's like, you know, I'm good on this, I'm good on this. I just want to learn credit repair. And I'm like, literally, uh, why are you answering this ad if you want to learn credit repair? Why didn't you do the research? Because he here's the thing. Like, if you want to learn how to fix credit, there's a process. Ideally, it starts with you fixing your own credit. Now, me, I fixed my credit like 20 some years ago. And then I had 20 people that I brought on and I was able to help them fix their credit. But typically, what I'm seeing is everyone wants to get into the business. They want to get into credit repair business. And this is something else I've noticed with my research. There's a lot of people who scaled up their credit repair business, in my opinion, way too quickly. And now these credit repair businesses are shut. There's literally one, two, three people that I know who were doing credit repair. Their credit repair company has shut down, but now they're trying to sell how to do credit repair. And I thought that was interesting. Like, I don't think that at any point I'm going to sell how to do credit repair. And let me tell you why. Fixing someone's credit <clears throat> is very analytical. You gotta sit at your desk, you gotta think, you gotta observe, you gotta have a plan. And typically, like this guy who wanted to, you know, it's like, how much you charge? I'm like, Anything I said that wasn't dirt cheap was going to be too much. Anything. Because he don't have no money. But he's good in business. He's good in business, right? But he don't have no money. How can you be good in business and not have any money? How could you be good in business and not have any money? I'm just sitting there like, okay. And I'm just sitting this. 
And seriously, I already know what I'm going to go through. I already know that, like, I would say 70% of the people who respond to my ads will not be able to afford it. I already know this. Which means that 30% will. So I got to get on my closing game. It's going to be real different because essentially we're going to teach you some stuff and we're going to fix your credit and you have access to two portals. Now, I already know that a lot of people who are breathing this financial literacy, listening to all this stuff, like if you're a person with bad credit and you feel that a bank is going to give you a $50,000 credit card, more than likely you will not be someone from my program. More than likely, because you feel that you're financially literate, but you don't know how financial literacy works. Because I am someone that can show you proof that I have multiple $50,000 limit credit cards. I can show you proof of that. But how did I get there? I had a business, I had income, I had great personal credit. And this is the thing that so many people don't want to hear. I wasn't using my personal credit. At that point in life, I was paying cash for cars. I was paying pa cash for BMWs, paying cash for Porsches. Because my business was working. Unlike the gentleman who wanted me to teach him credit repair, because he's like, yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I, I want to fix my friends and family credit and all this other stuff. And I'm like, because here's the thing. And this is why I say this individual is full of it. If he truly wanted to learn credit repair, he would be on YouTube University watching all of the credit repair videos and he would have encountered someone that would, would have taught him how to fix credit. Because one of the things that you have to understand, because like one of the things I'm talking about is um, literally with your qualifying situation, because there's a bunch of people with bad credit. There, there's a ton of people with bad credit. How do I know? I was running ads to get people business credit. And I saw that the other people running ads have changed up how they did things because they're getting a lot of the same responses that I was getting. People with bad credit that have the thought process that they can get business credit with a bad credit profile. It ain't happening. It's just not happening, right? But one of the things that I'm seeing is there's a lack of financial literacy being taught to people. You have what I call internet rah-rah stuff. Like, yeah, 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 you can have bad credit and you can get like $150,000 in business credit just like that, right? That's rah-rah stuff. And that's what these people are operating on. I also had a conversation with a white dude with bad credit and he tried to sell me, number one, make it cheap. And he said, if I had this knowledge, I'd be helping everyone on the internet for free. And I was like, yeah, really? Let me go ahead and tell you. Years ago, I gave away a course that if people actually opened it up and did it, they would have made money. And like 95% of the people who got the course for free didn't open up the course. He was silent to that. Because see, he was on this whole rah-rah thing. Like, hey, I'm working for paycheck. I don't have money. I go to the Instagram page. He's got, he, he works out in the gym. He's got guns. He's got a motorcycle. So essentially this person will pay for what he wants, but apparently fixing his bad credit is not that important to him. It's not. And you know, once again, I'm going through all this other stuff because I already know that literally for me to be successful with the credit repair agency, I have to qualify people really, really quickly. Because one of the things that, you know, I was talking to people, with uh, the Art of Holding Business credit course. I was talking to people and I was doing that wrong. Cause I was like, hey, what's going on and everything. And we would be like 35 minutes in the conversation and then I would get to their qualifications. What I've done is move the qualifications to the front. I will qualify you immediately because that's gonna save me and you a lot of time. And literally since I've done that, I started getting more sales. Since I started qualifying people, and essentially, one of the things that I'm working on is, you know, because this is the month of June, I'll be working on this all June. I gotta get my ads together, get my qualifications, gotta get my sale pitch together and all this other stuff. Because the majority of folks who want business funding 
have bad credit. And they don't understand that, like, you know, this, this is stuff I've been talking about for years. Start you an LLC, get your EIN, get you a business bank account, start there. And they, they don't know nothing about that. They, they know nothing about that. They're not prepared for that. They, they're in this trajectory of seeking how to get business credit. And like today, I had a good conversation with someone who's going to be, who signed up in the program probably as we speak. And he has an understanding because like, you know, the, like if you have bad credit, like, like you have a bank that, you know, you had a bad credit relationship with and that aged off your credit report, you can never get credit from that bank again. Never, ever, ever. It ain't happening. You can never get credit from that bank again. And, you know, we had that conversation because, you know, he's like, no, because he had a lot of these uh, merchant account loans. Like if you have a merchant account, many of your merchant account providers will give you a loan and they would take the money out of your merchant account. So based upon if you have three to four months of consistent financial activity. And, you know, I think he's going to be a really good client. But one of the things I'm, I'm learning, because like when I tried to sell this business credit course, I came to a new understanding. Number one, and this is something the credit plug will understand. I'm black and I'm going to attract a whole different audience than my white counterparts. It's just, just it is. I'm going, because essentially what I believe, and this is my thinking, is because I'm black and I've gotten to a certain position, there must be some secret sauce. There must be a hack. I, I had a conversation with someone who has a business that's doing like 26,000 a month, and he has another business that's doing 13,000 a month. So that puts them at like 40,000 a month, right? but he has bad credit. And he also has an issue with the Internal Revenue Service, which is an indicator of tremendous spending. Even though he has a business that's making 40,000 a month, that's literally putting him at half a million a year in gross revenue, he's got spending problems. He's got impulse problems. I already know this. This is something I learned when I was doing storage auctions, right? And I'm just sitting here like, huh, this is interesting. This is really, really interesting. So, you know, he's, he's got all kinds of stuff that's going on. And uh, one of the things that I'm consistently seeing is people want this business funding very, very quickly. There was one guy was on the phone and he actually signed up for the course. I told him, you're looking at two years. Number one, your credit report, you have no high limit credit cards on your report. So the banks will, once your credit report gets better, yes, you will get credit cards from the bank, but they will all be low, le low limit credit cards because you don't have any comparable high limit credit cards in your personal re credit report with minimum of two years ages. You, you don't have that. So it's going to be looking like you're, you're someone that's just starting off with credit. They will give you business credit, but you're not going to get these huge lines. It's just not. It's going to take you about two years to build up with that. And also, since I'm now entering this space, I have access to a credit card, a primary trade line that reports as a credit card that'll stay on your credit report for one year. So we got that going. But that's something that people have to come into because literally you want that to come in. Once your credit has improved, stick that bad boy on there and then your credit will improve dramatically more because number one, it's a primary trade line and it's a credit card and I can get you two of those. So with these, these whole things that are going on, cause like, you know, I say it's gonna take me about two months to work out these issues, June and July, and then I think I'll be rolling because literally this is fairly easy to get people into who understand. Cause like one, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna clean up your credit in 60 days without actually looking at your credit report. I, I have no clue because I don't know what's on there. I don't know what you have on there. I don't know, I have no clue. But typically what I see based upon this information of getting all of these people apply to my ad for business funding with bad credit. It, it literally blew my mind because I'm a financially literate person. I know how to get a business credit card. I know how to get a line of credit. I know what's required. Line of credit, 
Most banks today, you need to show tax returns. You can get a Marcus line of credit without showing tax returns. You can get a PNC line of credit without showing tax returns if your credit report is properly optimized. I know this, but typically the average person doesn't know this because in my mind, the average person wants to get a good credit report so they can go out and buy a car or get credit cards and go out and buy stuff. They don't want to invest in the business. That's the way that I am seeing this. So, yeah, this is something we're getting ready to do. And it's going to be really, really different. Really, really different. So I'm going to run the credit repair company out of Wyoming because I have a LLC in Wyoming. I'm going to run it out of there. And then two, you know, because I, I, I put up this information and people will point out, well, you know, you can't do this. You can't. And I was like, you can't do it. Because, see, by actually selling the art of holding training and doing the credit repair in the backside, I can get around all that because I'm actually selling you a product. I'm selling you a product, selling you training, and I'll, I'll, there's a lot more that'll be coming with that. So there, there's all kinds of things to get around there because essentially I can do credit repair for free. If I sell you the art of holding training, I can do the credit repair for free quite easily. So, yeah, this, this is about to get very, very interesting. Really, really interesting. And I want to say, you know, for those of you who are not subscribed to the new Hustlers Kung Fu, the channel's doing much better than this one. Much, much better. And I got a banger of a video that's coming out tomorrow. But once again, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we're about to get into. Okay. So this is at the beginning of the video. If you have the money to afford to have your credit repaired, go below and hit this link. Once again, uh, I, I don't run a charity. I'm not out here to make friends. I'm not out here to fix your credit super cheap and all this other stuff, but there's a process and you can go hit this link below. We can set up a call and we can talk about your credit report. Something else too. And I'm gonna put some links below you need to have access to your credit report, which costs money, which is going to cost money because I need to actually see your credit report to actually repair your credit. So all that stuff will be linked below and what you need to do. And you can go ahead and set up some phone calls so we can go ahead and actually begin to work on your credit. So let's get into this video, which is going to be very, very understanding really, really enlightening for you.